You've had your instructions, remember, obey my commands at all time, defend yourselves at all time. God bless touch clubs, let's do it. Touch them. World Championship Boxing came to Goodison Park, but that was in the movies. This is real life. And this is the test of Tony Bellew's entire career. Some final words from his trainer, Dave Coldwell. What a terrific partnership they've been. Can Coldwell guide him to a world cruiserweight title? Will Ilunga Makabu shatter the hopes and dreams of the blue half of this city and everybody in this stadium? 12 rounds for the vacant WBC cruiserweight title. Makabu, traditionally a slow starter. And just listen to this atmosphere. But as you said before, Jim, when that bell goes, everything just leaves a boxer's brain except the focus on the opponent. And these two fully switched on now. Bellew, as you can see, significantly taller. Can he make that count in his favour? Makabu boxing out of that southpaw stance. Taking it easy, looking to set his traps. He's very heavy-handed, he likes to counter. Bellew's got to be very careful, very patient, says Dave Coldwell. You take one risk with this fella. If it backfires, it could be good night. Well, he's trying to take the initiative early, Bellew, which is a good sign. But uh, it depends how good this fellow is at manoeuvring opponents. You know, it, he's got the southpaw stance. The first thing uh, Bellew wants to do is move him in a clockwise direction because he wants to move to his own right hand side, get outside Bellew's jab. So, how good he is at manoeuvring opponents? This is good from, from Bellew. You know, he, he's concentrating, he, he's thinking what he's doing, but he's using the right hand early. Everybody believes the right hand. Is the anti against the south four. I think the left foot was the one, but whatever works. Well, that's something Dave Coldwell said. Part of the game plan is they've got to stay busy with that left hand, not necessarily offensively, but just defensively. Use it as a range finder, use it to block. Always keep busy with that left hand. That's the mantra that's just been drummed into Bellew throughout the training camp. That left hand has got to work and it's got to do the job. just raiding a little bit here, Bellew looking to land the right hand. Yeah, I think the fact that Bellew's trying to use the right hand this early in the fight is a good sign. Yeah, he's got the physical advantages and he's using them. Ricardo going into a little bit of a shell, trying to draw him close. Yep. Yeah, I like the attitude of Bellew, he's thinking what he's doing here. And Ricardo against the ropes, then comes out again. But you'll see this with Makabu on tape, but these are nice, solid, hurtful punches that are coming in from Bellew. And Makabu is shipping a lot of punishment here. Hooks to the body, right hands upstairs. Bellew's got to keep his head, though. He's dangerous like that! The left hand spun him over right on the bell! I want to look at his eyes here and that. I don't think it was a damaging shot. The fact that he didn't crumple to the floor, he tumbled over, but that gives us scores a big round to Makabu. That is exactly what Dave Coldwell was saying. You can't fall into this fella's traps, he will set them. Right, listen, good shot, listen. See, I think Makabu was quite happy to let Tony Whale away at him when he was in the corner there because he was close enough and he was offering an opportunity. Look how quick that left hand was. Tony got up straight away, looked to the corner, so he's not badly stunned. And the fact that he was bowled over almost on a somersault suggests that it caught him square-footed. It wasn't a punishing shot. If his legs had gone and he'd crumbled to the floor, then we're worrying. But look at that, that's, uh, that's getting caught square-footed, losing your concentration, but not a punishing... Uh, well, a bit of blood there, not quite sure. Let's keep an eye on that. Round two, then, a dramatic opening session. Bellew doing a lot of good work. Makabu coming up with a left hand on the bell, and, yeah, that nose is bleeding. He looks to have a punch patience, doesn't he? 
He knows he's not in any hurry. 12 rounds is a long time. Other chances are going to present themselves. And the South Plus stance is just another awkwardness that Bellevue could be doing without, I'm sure. Maccabi may be not all that easy to catch, uh, as you thought. Uh, and he looked at it as, as during the introductions, he was skipping about and his feet looks pretty mobile as well, Maccabu. I expected him to be a bit more flat-footed being the puncher, but this is a tough job for Big Tony. And he is very happy just to settle back like this, as we've seen. He sets traps. Values walked into one, got away with it, albeit with some damage to the nose. Quite get to work in this round, uh, Bellevue. You know, got his, he's got the jab, he's got an excellent jab. I mean, that's a, that, that was a shape of the knock. The, the last thing you want is disaster in the opening round, and that's what he got. But he's very circumspect, obviously, throughout the, the second round here. And so much for Makabu being the slow starter. Which he has been in some of his recent fights. Took ages to get going when he won his eliminator against Makunu. Now he's bleeding from the nose as well, Makabu. Uh, Makabu definitely got caught with something. Yeah, they're both showing each other an awful lot of respect in this round. No one really putting their stamp on this round, are they? And Bellew, quite rightly, reluctant to get drawn into anything. He won't get greedy again, to use Coldwell's words. That was what he said to him when he went back to the ring. The corner there, Coldwell, he said, you got greedy. He knows it. Solid shots that have landed a punk from Bellu. Now he's just got to back off and regroup. More blood coming from the nose. That was a good little burst there from Bellu. And a round that's been as quiet as this. That might just edge it in his favour. Yep, just keeps his concentration. said don't think about entertaining this crowd think about winning the fight that is spot-on advice well someone is going to have to show just a little bit more adventure than we saw in the second round there was so much at stake and the fact that Bill has already been on the floor so you, you, you can't uh, blame him for being a little bit careful in there looking to stay busy with that left hand whether it's throwing out the jabs, whether it's blocking, whether it's hooking. He's got to stay active with that. Nice little right to the body there. Makabu very much on the front foot. Bellew does land the hook. Makabu backing up and getting out of trouble. Bellew's got to stay patient here, though. He's been here before. But Makabu blocking, covering. If he's leaning back, he's not going to get taller than his shot. But he's heavy handy. That was a good left hook he got home with. The good work from Del he's taken too many chances he's now. He's got to be careful. Solid shots, but Makabu looks like he's in serious trouble now. Is this it? The legs are buckled. Bellew's going for it. Bellew flat out here. What Makabu got, he's in trouble. He stopped. Bellew's done it. Hamilton goes apart, goes for Zap. He's destroyed Makabu, who's still on the floor. And in some distress. Bellew doesn't know it, his team don't know it. Now they've realised. Because Makabu right in front of us is flat out sprawled on this ring. Well, nobody saw that coming. Makabu was leaning back. 